Fifth Avenue North. On yesterday, we had a historical thing to happen in the city of Birmingham. They call it historical, you know, made history and all that kind of stuff. But I'm here this morning to talk about another history. History. To me, yesterday was one of the most bizarre scenes I ever seen in this city. One of the most comedic scenes I ever witnessed in public. When I witnessed men with size 13, 14 shoes out there kissing each other in the mouth in front of little kids. It was just bizarre. It was like a freak scene going on. That's what I call it. Now, I know about the government and laws being made, but I got a law this morning that came out of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 31. And it says, shall a man leave his mother and father and join to his wife, and they shall become one. And to have your kids out there yesterday, six, seven years old, holding flags, the Bible said, provoke not your children. To wrath, to wrath. Proverbs 22 and verse 6, 7. Train up a child in the right way he should go. And when he get old, he went to park. I'm so delighted and honored that God would have me bold enough to stand here and talk about this issue. Well, all the preachers was yesterday. You know what I mean? The only time going to make them come out of them doors when they stop them tithing off in your church. And you can't have men's day no more. And youth day and women's day. I bet you're going to have a sign in your hand with Brother Ed then. You're going to be standing in front of the White House then. No, y'all got to leave us alone. You know what I mean? But somebody should have stood up yesterday. Ain't it funny everybody got a right but the Christian? So I'm here this morning to talk about my right. Because I got a right too. I can barely say praise the Lord in public now. I might go to jail. I might threaten a lawsuit on the job. You can't have a, tell a person to have a blessed day. Ain't it sad? Y'all, I got a text this morning going to share it, which I'm getting on out here. I got a text all the way from Washington, D.C. And I'm going to break the news to y'all. And y'all in the back of me also. In two more years, in 2016, February the 9th, you won't only be able to marry your partner that you play football with no more. You're going to be able to marry your dog. You're going to be able to marry your cat. You're going to be able to marry your snake. You're going to be able to marry your rat, your roaches. Some of y'all been with the roaches so long, you might well go and marry the roach. <laughs> He's been around your house so long, you're going to be able to marry your broom, your mop. Ain't we going crazy in this world, y'all? Ain't we going crazy? I know Alabama made a lot of money. Y'all say, I know somebody else made a lot of money, too. Duracell ain't got no batteries on the shelf this morning. <laughs> All the batteries gone. I tried to find a battery for my radio this morning. Couldn't find them nowhere. I said, what happened? They said, Rev, they bought all the batteries last night. They celebrated some kind of way. Just bought all the batteries. I don't know what they do with the batteries. No, every day. I'm going to preach. I don't go there. You know what I mean? I don't know what they did with all the batteries. Now, Mr. Mayor, don't stop me in the hallway, you and your security team, and tell me I can't come here talking like I talk because you got a political job to do. I got a biblical job to do. And I'm going to do mine and you do yours. I'm going to stay in my lane and you stay in yours. I ain't bought by nobody. If I had to die doing what I'm going to do, I'm just fine. Y'all remember Peter and si uh, Paul and Silas were thrown in jail. I'm getting out of here, Mr. Officer. Don't you push that button. Time you remember Paul and Silas <laughs> were thrown in jail? You remember the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace? You remember Daniel was thrown in the last den? They didn't say when he show up or if he show up. They said, we know he going to show up. Why are we scared today, preachers? Your time. Everybody man. coming out of the closet but the saints. When we going to come out of the closet? And all the gay people ain't show up down there yesterday. We got some down low people that didn't show up. Some of them down here. 